Hey guys, this is Seth Underwood with SU Fly Fishing. Um, I'm on my way driving up to the mountains. Uh, I was planning on doing a small trip to West Virginia this weekend, but um, we got about in 36 hours, four inches of rain, and every river right now that isn't a mountain stream is pretty much blown out. So, um, so what I'm hoping to do is get up here and get on some small wild fishing. Now this river, traditionally, I catch double digits every time and it's really easy fishing I say that now uh, hoping I haven't jinxed myself but um, you know go up here try to catch some fish if not I'm up in the mountains it's a beautiful time but I'll probably will I'll probably catch some fish and get some fish up for you so um, but yeah um, I'll see you out in the water That was a disappointing day. Um, I fished about five hours um, at that stream, and I uh, I didn't get a bite um, or anything I could tell was a bite. I mean, I was you know after a while you don't catch fish, and uh, that's just how it is. That is my first legitimate goose egg. I had one before, but we caught, you know, someone with me caught a fish. So technically, as a group, we weren't goose egg, but we were out. No fish. Just no fish. So, um, instead, we had moments like this. Well, and like this. Uh. And this one. Oh. Coup de Gras is this one. What in the what in the what just Huh. Anyone ever have that happen before? Um, sometimes you can go to the spot. The spot I usually catch at least. <laughs> Even when I'm just using a dry dropper. Um, I'll go there and I'll catch 15, 20 fish. Easy. If I'm there the whole day, 40s, fit. Like these wild, these little wild fish usually are ready to eat. I don't know what happened. Um, and some days it, just fish decide not to eat. So the best thing you can decide is when everything goes wrong and you can't do nothing right and cast into trees and you're breaking offline and you lose a bunch of stuff. Just be happy you're out fishing. I was out in the woods, out by myself, being able, to, you know, defrag my thoughts and you know have some time with me, the Lord, and whatever other critters are out there, and just enjoy quiet nothing but the river and that's I think a lot of times that's that's what's good for people it's just to be out um so that being said um I got a trip planned for West Virginia the trip I was going to do last week it got rained out there's like here in Southwest Virginia we got like four inches of rain in some spots in like 36 hours um so West Virginia is up on the um is up on the mark um only one video this week i just end of the month work um, i work on mental health and at the end of the month we got a lot of paperwork needs to be done so i'm doing the outro for the uh the monday of this week um i'll try and download everything hopefully have it in by wednesday um get everything edited uh tomorrow and um yeah got a couple trips coming up um so don't take yourself so seriously um I see some guys that fly fishing like use these words like in the cool crisp morning when everything begins to meld into light and yeah dude you're fishing just be out in the woods you ain't gotta be a poet 
Ain't nobody taking you seriously. I was like that when I was like 17 and I just watched River Runs Through It for the 30th time. Still love that movie. Don't care. I've got no shame. Um, but you're fishing, man. And, and half the fun of fishing is where you get to go. And I got to go up in the mountains away from people. And um, it was a good time. It was a good time. I felt good. I fished a lot. I caught uh, nothing. But I learned a lot. I learned a lot that sometimes right after a bunch of rain and the fronts and the pressure switches sometimes the fish just don't want to cooperate and with all that rain and the weather it was it was getting colder it went from being like I think it was like 60 to 40 something after all that rain that I just had to put that in my mind as something that might might not be good for fishing so but guys, I appreciate you watching this. I'm going to try and be as transparent as I can. Um, a lot of YouTubers don't. A lot of YouTubers will put out videos and be like, Hey, I caught fish, man. I'll catch a fish. I always catch fish. I get a few goose eggs a year. I think everyone does. Especially in the winter. Winter fishing's hard. You uh, you talk to any legitimate fly fisherman. Um, there's a couple days out of the year, right, usually around January, February, <laughs> that uh, they go out. And either the weather tells, keeps him go home, or the fact that nothing's biting tells him to go home. So, um, but I digress. If you have any questions, leave a comment, um, or you want to start a discussion, happy to answer. Uh, if you like the movie, leave a like. That is redundant. And uh, if you want to see more, please subscribe. And as always, guys, tight lines and blessings. <laughs>